afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting and everything and a basic propaganda cast from your host, Imperial Day, the one, the only master of propaganda. We're off an exhibiting and exciting one versus one on Holotty Fan between the West. It is PFC fighting for the Wehrmacht, Germany, Deutschland. Taking on the role here of the Ghost Deutschland, Panzer Grenadier Division West and East. It is Bullard fighting for the Red Army, the Soviet Union. Taking on the role here of the First Guards Mechanized Corps, we got Jaeger Armour, Lightning Wall, and German Infantry with double infantry and man bulletins versus Urban Defense. Shock Rifle and Guard Rifle here for Bullard with double infantry and a T-70 bullets in. We got an MD-42 sort of a PFC with the Grenadiers to follow up. A double contra start here for Bullard. Standard openings here from both sides. No major surprises there. That's going to leave us in the dirt and all staggered. As always, please remember to like, subscribe and share and press that bell button. That would make me awfully happy. Also, big thanks to my patron supporters. Without which this episode would not have been possible at all. Also, big thanks to all those who donate throughout the time. You too can join their handsome and explosive ranks by... You know, pledging on Patreon so just donating. Links are in the video description. We got Conscripting Norfolk here for Bullard. Partners in there for PFC. Bit of quad here. Norfolk, both sides, of course, going to like to try gain control of this area since it's actually quite crucial for the northern side of the map. Since if the east side gain control, it's going to be very different for the western side. In particular, the Wehrmacht can control it again. It could use the destruct control there. So PFC, of course, focusing his pioneers on that part of the map. Very good there. Third console one for Bullard. MP4 2 in there with another going to just for PFC. Well, that, in fact, is aiming pretty hard here for the northern side again, looking to control that compartment. Also knowing he's going to like to tie up most of PFC's force while doing so, I'm just secure the rest of the map nice and safely here. So while there's obviously a few risks with this maneuver at the same time, if it pays off, it pays off. And even if it doesn't quite pay off, it might still have some uh, benefits here versus PFC. Third consequence weather for Willard and the Red Army. Consequence they have routed, grabbing the northern fuel point here, but there you go. PFC strikes swiftly with the Scandinavians, laying down fire there with the Carnante case here. As somewhere in the eastern front, these two armies clash. Is it doing Operation Backlash? Is it one of the many battles for Kharkov? Who knows? Obviously, it's all pixels, but you know, a bit of imagination never hurts. Fourth comes one there for Bullard. Then it is moving up here, constantly being suppressed by the MD42. They're going to have to fall back as they take heavy fire there from the MD42 and the supporting Grenadiers here from PFC. I feel like you just push in the lead machine with grab the point and then finish off the job there. Now it's like the chance the gun gets unsuppressed, in which case the Grenadiers won't be able to as easy to deal with them. Meanwhile, we can see here that Bullard is still making use of the conscript north here to just you know, allow the rest of his force to advance easily. So we've got more troops being reinforced northwards there to assist here, but he's going to have to fall back soon. I don't think Bullard can maintain this axis of attack much longer. No, he's obviously going to try and see if he can't gain just a bit more value out of it. Conscript through the center, again, taking advantage now of PFC's Heavy northern focus again, part forcing them to then swing through the center and up in the room there. So, thumbs up there to Bulat. Definitely one of the key, key critical elements. I'm trying to say key critical elements at the same time, getting Cree, but no key critical elements there for playing consequence as well. It's actually using them as bait as well and not looking to like fine engage unless you're absolutely sure you can win them. And sometimes just accepting they're not going to do a lot of damage directly, but actually you can just use them to draw your opponent's attention because they can't be ignored either. Third, gonna the PFC standard opening here so far. More engineers for Bullard. It's going to cause them to take up at the same time. Give them actually more flame throws if that's what we want. Or more minesweepers. There's obviously numerous benefits to having numerous engineer schools there for Bullard and the Red Army. Constantly being suppressed with the 42 Parnies bringing to help deal with them. So you can see they're always setting up campy outside of PFC's base. Bullard is weaving about aggressively versus PFC. Keeping on the defensive. Keeping them reactive here to Bullard's moves. Again, allowing Bullard to further just dictate what fighting is going and just keep most of the map here. So good work so far here, Bullard versus PFC. Certainly shows what a well-trained Sir player can do here in the early game against the Wehrmacht. PFC, of course, trying to swing the game around his frame. Of course, the MD4 is going to be critical to this. He can break down the assault here, large scale one, with ease with the MD4 2. He can then actually you know, swing the game against Bullard. But of course, Bullard's going to try his best to avoid the MD42, or at least swarm it and overwhelm it. Now, PFC is moving towards the center. He's probably trying to set up here for a push on the car point, but Bullard, of course, does not want the time. He's going to try and again make another push for the fuel here and force PFC to react to this. We got tech that done for PFC. Could go for some for German infantry to go for a 250 half tank. Instead, we got fast panzer gun ideas. Also, pretty good. We can see that with the northern fuel push, PFC push and the car point is more or less being cancelled. I mean, he could just. Dispatch some troops, but the threat here, I think, is significant from PFC again. Just remove the machine gun from the center push. Come up here to defend against Bullard's northern moves. So again, you know, good moon there, Bullard. Shows what you can do. And do well as the Soviets. Panzer Squad almost done. That's going to help PFC out a bunch versus Bullard. And of course, Bullard should soon want to take up so he can bring up something to bear versus the Panzer Gunner. These a bit better. 
No sign of dodging there from either side. They are both a bit hesitant there. Grab the curve point, and we got a flank for us up for PFC to help deal with any duck in units. And of course, just increase the firepower. We do get the push for the curve point here from PFC, bit of extended, but looks like he's feeling pretty confident that Bulat cannot punish this anytime soon. I mean, he can actually punish Bulat now for extending a bit. Good work from PFC. Support company up here for Bulat. Back here, Pani is reinforcing. Probably going to be seeing I like to make a nice company. Pan's going to be heading south first. Going to put more pressure here and probably trying to secure the fuel point. Up north, machine gun awaits any push for the fuel point there. It's going to send those Soviets scaring away again like rats. And there you go, caught here by the info 2. Petrov goes down, the rest are routed, deciding not to share in Petrov's fate. Coming right here for Bulak, going straight here for the Ghanese Panzer, backing up to the Sturm Gears. Mounted casualty there. And I think he's going to have to back off. Here we've got the two turn for PFC to help put pressure in infantry. He can also help deal with the slight vehicle somewhat. But it's most yes, there to be a nuisance for Bulat's troops. Pressure them, flank them. And also, then to what the matter if he like, makes a mistake and no extends. So, Kolotny Farmer or Kolotny Farmer is not necessarily the best map for this since it's much more narrow and there's not like great ways to sort of sneak in an armored car on the tree path. But he can still threaten it, which does make the uh, 2 to 2 handy. Noting Molotov obviously for Bulat now into tank grenades. We've got the Venus heads here. Still no sign of a doctrine here from either side. Father falling back, but he does secure the fuel point here, denying it to Blood and the Red Army. Good work there by PFC, turn the tilt on his opponent. And now we got the 2 2 to be a nuisance there. Bankrupt as well for PFC and the German Army. The Gauls Dodge Land Panzer going to be shown. One of the German Army's elite divisions. Comes to their pursuing the Grenadiers. A lot of them, and of course, most of them can be prominent to, of course, continue to fight fine. Coming fire from the Grenadiers, shooting through the hedges, getting some light damage in there. They're not a lot. Mine's down here for Bulat. Very good spot there. We've got 448 versus 490. Nice lead here so far for Bulat. They're not a massive one, still a lead. Bulat connected soon, again, taking up here. Oh, caught the lane down mine with the 2 2, and. Oh, close one there, though. Had I been a bit lucky there, PPC could have set up the mine under the years and destroyed it. But there you go, dusted it off nonetheless, denying Bulat there, of course, a chance to blow up some of PPC's forces. Constantly up moving the machine gun here. Good use of Ura and the terrain there. Going for the car point, and that way slightly leaves PFC there flabbergast in the north, though. Without ground the center victory point, it doesn't matter too much, since the victory point for the munition point still connects the northern fuel point. So, yeah, not quite as effective there. Unfortunately for Bulat. Of course, even then, he's still denying him some fuel ammunition, so it's not a complete waste of time either. Going for the car point again here. Bulat is getting the tank tank command up here, but he has lost a bit of momentum here. And PFC is pretty much just putting as much pressure as he can on the Bulat, trying to slow down his income, his tech. And in fact, Bulat sees himself in some time off. So at this point, he may just want to consider going straight for a T3476, or even a K1 instead. Meanwhile, got the pack for PFC, taking no chances with his opponent. He's not entirely sure, of course, if he's, like, immediately within track of getting a T-70 out. I mean, Bulat is not too far off, but in terms of timing, he ends up risking the being a bit late. Meanwhile, PFC won't feel ready to be too far off for them beginning to tag up already now himself. So, there are some considerations there. Mine on the fuel point there. Good work by Bulat. Up north, Pan's going to be around the conscripts. Hard to say what Bulat is planning. I mean, it could be over defense for light tank guns. I think we've gone for heavy... Something of just going planning that. Oh, we got shock rifle, and we do get the shock troops out. That's definitely gonna be a challenge there for PFC's grenadiers, in particular, none of them are upgraded. In fact, no sign of doctrine yet either. Panzergrenadiers do have a better chance, but even then, they can be a bit challenged by the shock troops depending on uh, range and terrain. We can use moving ahead here with a flame front hand. We got the two troops roaming about here, and we got the pioneers laying up some telemines in the north. Good work there. S mines also laid down. We already got here. Bulat's engineers with minesweepers clearing that out. Good work there, but Bulat. Always worthwhile having S or minesweepers up. Meanwhile, PFC doesn't actually have any minesweepers. So that's a bit of an oversight there, but PFC, that is a bit of an oversight. It could be something that bites them in the ass the longer the match goes on. And before doing the mounting troops, there's still another squad moving in that could give them the range for the pan Molotov. And that's exactly what's going to happen here. PFC needs to reactivate the machine gun now. Or he gets lucky next to get suppressed, in which case. Yeah, it's still going to get Molotov, it seems. Pops the Incendio, which is actually very nice. Really good uses there. Again, it's an overlooked ability in Valmark, but it's actually quite powerful. And it's really one of the things that last game before to do some serious damage. 
It does require a bit of good timing and well timed, it does really give your opponent a bad time of things. Looks like getting some telemines up here as well. Good spot there. We can use up north of the 2 to 2. Well, like there's going for the T's and light tank. In the south, we have to scramble between the grenades and the cons. We do get light machine guns up. Decrease the chance here of light German infantry means either lightning war or Jagerama here for PFC, I think. North here, Piney's moving with the Pantsco Spot 2 to 2. Going to move from the north shore. Sandwiching the shocks, we see in a uh, storm of firepower there from PFC. And causing retreat there. Well, that, of course, could have tried to fight here, but that would just cost him a lot of manpower. Just been a waste of resources, to be fair. In the south, comes from the bar, Tika, and he's holding up here. No sign of upgrade there. He needs reinforcing healing for Bullard. Heading for Northern Victory Point back here. We do get some tech there for PFC. Gun needs reinforcing healing. Season of Southern Point here with the Gundiers. I'm moving to contest that as he's being seized by conscripts. T and Light Tank out here. Pack is coming to the center, so if Bullard keeps clear of the center with his T 70 can really be a nuisance on this to PFC here. We'll have to see, of course, how Bullard mixes the T 70. He is probably expecting a Pack 40 somewhere, so he'll be a bit cautious. Of course, there's also plenty of Telemines about here from PFC, and they could, of course, they can, in fact, easily destroy the T 70. Since the T 70 basically just needs to take one hit from a Telemine and it's dead. Pants up north to take him down from the T 70 light tank. Pioneers could be the next target, possibly. But of course, he may be a bit worried about Telemine to so want to be careful around here, which, I mean, is a very sensible worry considering PFC has, in fact, laid down mines. Pioneers getting snapped with the T 70. 2 2 pack falling up there. T 70 forces engage. And there you go, Bullard's got the anti-tank grenades up. Took him a bit of a while, but he's finally there. Back in healing reinforcements. Shock to things south, but those gunners will be in for a world of hurt there. But unless they get out there fast enough. And there you go, Jürgen already drops dead. His bodies get stitched with uh, numerous 9mm bullets here from the shock troopers. Gunners holding up here, wrecking the whatever that was tractor. Actually, not 9mm bullets. I believe they used some other munitions for the submachine gun. I'm not wrong there. And anyway, shock troopers right here with the 2 to 2. Machine gun holding up here in the church. Nice position. And Guinea setting up the T-Sun back up. Three kills. Back in Bullard's base. Nothing further going on. He has every upgrade for the conscripts. We'll have to see many techs up. Guinea sold here by the conscripts. MD42 and the 2 2 Now they're tempted to Mordsov. Pinned down before they can get off and force retreat up north here. Push here. Guinea's up in the building. T-Sun moves in. Mine should have cleared out the telemine. Or it gets set off for something. Either way, that telemine is gone and the T-Sun is still there. 2-2 in there, and you need to be forced when he's forced to retreat there. Unable to withstand the flamethrower assault here from Bullard and the Red Army. Got response to Mimo Bullard is also launching another push in the south here. Outmaneuvering PFC and leaving the south quite open. Could try and flank up behind here. In fact, use the building here to cut a rather awkward setup there for uh, PFC to deal with. T7 need repairs, and there you go. PFC has taken out. In fact, he's got the Supreme Cop already. Could go for Duke here, but more likely an Osman of Panther would be much better. Unless he's really worried about the T-70, and then the Osman Panther can deal with it quite well. That's set. With an IS-2 up. Eventually, a bunch of Stukes would be, I think, a very good choice of PFC. Pioneers bring about back in after they're going over PFC. To the two versus the conscripts, the front of X. Playing for a party, two with conscripts from the other side as well. In fact, good chance of wipe here. Very good chance there. She's two to two setting up here to get the wipe there with the crash machine gun. There we go. Even in sending up here to on the MD42 to just increase the chances. Great work by PFC. Punishing for lot there for no extended contact support without a good exit plan there. Thumbs up. Got 448 versus 366. PFC needs another lead here over Bullard. Panther 4 there for PFC, the Panzer Kampfwagen Fear. And Bullard actually has no anti tank weapon, is worth noting. He has no field guns, no SU 6, and no tanks either. So he's actually quite vulnerable to the Panther 4 unless like, he managed to bait into a mine or several anti tank grenades. There you go, got the Sisley field gun on the way there. Really good decision here. It's probably starting to realize that, you know, there's a good chance the opponent's going to hit him with a tank. Considering everything else, a good work there. And he's trying to deal with the Panther Gunners, but the Panther Gunners absolutely just show no mercy and shred them. 
Two to do there with 13 kills, close to 52, doing quite good work. You have North Conflict going for the Ghanese inside the building. Northern Vic 26 for the Chucks will score. Feel good, almost done here. But it won't be fast on the Pantherfall here. PFC floating quite a bit of manpower. Still no sound of doctrine from PFC and the German army. Still no sound of doctrine. No sign of a greater plan here from the Germans. All right, got the Pantherfall out here. The Panzerkampfwagen see it. White course of the German army and the most produced tank. In the German army, the most produced armored fighting vehicle was actually the Stug. So, overall, major numbers between the two were actually not that different. It was like only by a small margin the Stug was the most produced over the Panzer IV. It's a little fun fact there. Pretty much seeing me actually the Panzer IV. Very good. North Egypt going for the Shock Troopers. Decently good to go. Pin my machine almost done in the Panther 4. And he got the making time a couple there for Bullock. Very good, very good. We'll see what he goes. Probably try and go for an IS2. Bit risk if he does that. Will he go for T34 from 6? Which doesn't make sense. I mean, there's also the option of KV8. And there you go. Pin my machine gun ready. No, this is an older style cupola that was used then the Panzer here. They were quickly dropped since they were actually a pretty big target. It's an old just gave away to any like observing from long range of the tank, you know, someone's popping their head out. So they actually switched to sort of hatch the sort of open in a slightly different way. And it's also much lower profile. Little fun fact there. Little fun fact. A bit of quality between the two sides. PFC and Bullet seizing each other, sizing each other up here before the next push. Plus, PFC's got sort of reason to control the map here, so he's probably not feeling too much in right here versus Bullet either. Though obviously shouldn't be feeling too comfortable either because that gives a lot more time to regain initiative versus PFC, so. Well, it can be nice to relax, you should be careful about it in the match of companies too. Shocks are the push here, we got the Panzer Warp side the building here, it's going to be difficult for the Shock to deal with, particularly with the Panzer 4 and the two are arriving. Grenade off, didn't do much, and the Shock Troops are routing in the face of the Panzer 4, which quickly racks up several kills there against Bullard Shock Troopers. There we go, T-34 from the next one will lap. No attempt to installing for the IS-2. I think it's very sensible. T-7 in the center versus the MD-42, MD-42 being cleared out here. Low on health already, but there you go. Panther Ball to the rest, we got the field gun, the supporting here. If we could hit. Almost got the MD-42, but he does escape there. Beast with good luck here for PFC, 720 with a manpower. Might want to spend some of that and say caches, bunkers, support weapons. Mortar could be a pretty good investment there for PUC, I think. And there you go, T-54 from 6, almost that done for Bullock and the Red Army. Pants of the Mungabat in the church, we got the Pioneers hitting the Comscore, going into the building. And we got the Flame Frontier Squad ready, plus the T-7, that's a quick retreat from PUC's Pioneers. Yes, but I was taking Pioneer Squad by now with Mines, which is very good there. But he might lose the Pioneer Squad here with a flamethrower. Two will lap, but no. One man runs. One man lives. See something moving up there. Goes straight here from the Pack 40, punching through the armor. Leaving the T7 crew in a bit of an awkward spot. He comes moving up with the new support. Panther shoots, misses. And there you go. T5 moving from Northern Flank here. Catching the T of the 2 off guard here. Nice hit there. The news pushing through the center, so the mixture bomb being lost here. We got 411 versus 328. PFC, I really feel like we're starting to spend some of that manpower. Further up north, we've got the shock troopers catching in some fire there from the Gundies, but they are easily able to push them away, particularly with support from the T 34 from 6, forthcoming. Send being claimed here by the third south side, they're being held here by PFC's Grenadiers. Good hit there with the T 34 6, Panzer Worms and React. And there you go, good hit on the T 34 by the Panzer 4. for moving ahead again here for blood in the center mg42 can be is moving it backed up by another mg42 moving for the center victory we've got the season moving up here though to thwart the gunners advance from the center victory point good response there we'll have to see what the follow up next next could go for another t-34 from six here versus pfc who has gone for lightning war still floating a lot of manpower here again fuel caches could be a good investment here for pfc i think that could be a very good investment if anything Panther we had the T-34 is not in a great state, and he probably should have disengaged a bit. So, good hit on the Panther 4 though, but 
Pans of forward attempts to fail with easy on the T for the first one six. Sar starting some slight attempt here, but we got plenty of force in the above from QFC to thwart. Such a move here by Bullock and the Red Army. Molotov off there, plus the two to joining in. Better exchange there of fire parties and being slowly fixed up. And so is the T-34 up here. Almost getting the Pentagon these there. All low on health, in fact, incredibly low, but none of them got white. That is really lucky there for PFC. That is incredibly lucky. But it seems like PFC is not trying to stall here for the Tiger tank. They're just going to need their fourth battle phase. It's all time to really flood a lot of manpower. Really needs to be careful about that. As that does give Bullock more time, I think, to stage a comeback here against PFC. Filgan shoots. Shot there didn't quite land as well there. Second shot goes off. Close, but no cigar either. Two between forcing healing in the south. We've got the T-Swing Forts there. we got seven kills, 22 pioneers laying down S-Mount on the southern victory point. Good work there by PFC. Consistent mining there from him is great to see. Thumbs up. Unless, of course, you be pun, in which case, you absolutely hate to see that. Oh dear, Panther Fast is here. Looks like Bullock didn't expect that. we got the two Ming plus the Panther 4 here. I think Bullock T70 is in. And from there, go in Guinea's heading for the Southern Victory. Pompous it hits all of the mines. A double whammy there on Bullock. T's about to get knocked out here. Bad news there for Bullock. And the Red Army's got another T for the first from 6 and That's pretty great. Northern Pumping Seas as well from PFC. Good push here by Bullock and the Red Army. But losing the T70 does suck quite a bit for them. It is an unfortunate development that leaves uh, Bullock a bit exposed here. And of course, PFC there is not far off from the Tiger Tank. He needs to be mindful of that back here. Trophy enforcing healing. Punch is going to be ahead here for PFC. Field and force fall back. T for the six number two, halfway done. No mines up here. Could be used, I think, there for uh, Bullock here versus PFC. And he's advancing. And there you go, Gunner is getting out of the building before the T-34 from 6 forcibly evicts them and possibly evicts them from this life. Push into north here by PFC looking to regain the fuel point there from the bullets evicts. Panzer comes back down with the pack for the Panzer 1 Gunner But no, already here we see a diversion there as the Panzer also to react to troops here on the flanks. Now the hit and there you go, second T-34 from 6 out here for Bullard versus PFC. Second, T-34, some six out. Heading northwards with one. Heading centers with the other one. There you go, before take fire from the T-34, some six. Good shot in the house there. Our one going from northern public fuel point there to deal with it. T-34 backing off. Being aggressive suit here with PFC's forces though. Almost got the gun at EC, almost. Close to getting a white there, but... One man short, they were full white. We got the pack point of PFC in response to this. Back here, trip reinforcing healing. Could Bullock go for more support weapons? Will he try to for the IS-2? Will PFC ever build any fuel caches? T for the forcing the Grenadiers. Getting some good kills in. In the center here, we got slow push. And the south point, all being seized here from PFC. to zooming up there. Pack forward number two, almost down. There you go, making a new run. Dodging an ace mines, and there you go. Gets off the end of tank grenade. PFC was too slow, too sluggish, too preoccupied, and lost it. And there you go. And once in the arm, please up there. You go T 34. Gets a shot right through one of the windows, collapsing the entire building, wiping out the machine crew. PFC, they're going for a place in MG 42. Very good. Tiger Tank, though, is excruciating close here for him. He has the command points, he just needs the tech. And, uh, well, the command points, he does have that now. So now, basically, just needs the tech. And probably a bit more fuel. So fuel cash is still be good, I think, for PFC. Glad to see the ghost for it. Destroying the pack 40. That'd be great here for Bullat versus PFC. would be very great. Shot missed. Grabbing the northern points here. We got 385 to 268. Bullat and the Red Army swing the match slowly in favor here of themselves. Up north, you got the center corner. There you go. Pack cleared out again. It is engaged the T-34. I'm trying to store that pack. There you go. Pack destroyed, leaving PFC now with only one pack 40 here versus Bullock. Roughing up the field gun, falls it away. At least Bullock decides not to risk it. Before dropping up the advancing shock troopers, always has the replacement ready. Good work there with PFC. Thumbs up. But he's also 
incredibly close here to the Tiger tank and Blood's like I need either tank destroyer or a field gun more to help deal with that. There we go, Pony is routed. Ever so close, he still hasn't tagged up, though he still hasn't tagged up. Bit of a no sight there by PFC, bit of a no sight. I think he's gonna realize that soon. He was planning on calling in as soon as possible. He's gonna have to remember he has to tag up first. You don't need the heavy panzer core for the target tank, you just need the final battle phase of the Wehrmacht. There you go, finally taking up there. It's gonna delay overall everything a bit. In particular, since uh, Bullard also has good fuel control, so PFC is getting a lot less fuel now. Which actually means it becomes a bit more difficult to actually get the fuel needed for the Tiger tank after it takes up for tier 4. 2 2 by the way, East over there with 14 kills. Good work there. Second pack point for PFC. Looking to stall in further here. And this guy to give Bullard a chance then with his 2 tier for force push for the I uh, 2 heavy tank, which would mean. PFC's Tiger Tank is going to be less awesomely impressive here against Ballard. Conscript North Wings Press 42, second pack 40, halfway done. Heavy finding and the Conscripts are clanging to the ground, almost being wiped out. The Lisa Ding, the Conscript South, pushing away. Pack 40, almost done there for PFC. Shock to be sending around here for Ballard. We got two kills, Vets need two. More Conscripts there for Ballard to replace the ones lost. He could also consider fuel cash, I think, to help set up for the IS-2. At the current spe speed, they would take him roughly two minutes to get out the IS-2. Oh, hits a mine there with a the Panzer IV. Will Blunt try and make a go for it here? Nope, we got Bala Panzer was there with a G-43. Force retreat there. Very close to the Titan tank here for PFC. Blatt still has a bit of work to go, but there you go, main gun out on the Panda 4. Oh, Scheiße. That's a big one there for Bulan. Get rid of that Panda 4. That's going to be huge there against PFC. And there you go. He even rams it. I'm not sure why they didn't kill it in this case. And, like, he can't finish off here. I think that was a bad call there by Bulat. Could have been a misclick of some sort. Like, theoretically not impossible, but, you know, he just, like, you know, kept shooting at it. And called in the tender still in the pack forward nearby. So, a bit of a bad call there by Bulat. Bit of a mild throw there. But now PFC can find it on the Tiger tank. He just needs to press that button. That said, Blight is not far off from the IS-2 heavy tank either. The longer it takes PFC to call in the Tiger tank, obviously the closer it's ultimately to get to the uh, IS-2. And there you go, Tiger tank finding something for PFC. And the all strikes line to Panzer are going to be DB Shaw. Which, as a fun fact, was one of the few divisions when Tiger Tanks were actually initially introduced. They actually got a company of its own Tiger Tanks that they were later removed to form up more heavy, sort of, shall I say, armored battalions, which sort of where Tiger Tanks were commonly organized. But the Gorse Dodge, and I think, alongside the first three SS Panzer Division, actually initially had their own uh, Tiger Companies as an organic part of the division, but they were basically stripped out of them and they were basically turned into heavy tank battalions later on. Tiger tank, they're seeing the pinmark machine, helped you with the infantry, very good. Got the eyes to have a tank out there for Bullard. Still reinforcing healing, T-54 is being fixed up, half 8 to on that one. Good there for Bullard, very good. Panda 4 there, half 8 of Etsy 3, eyes to have a tank sitting out here for Bullard in the Red Army. Gonna strike straight here at PFC's Grenadiers. There we go, Drew. Direct miss. I don't know. I know it's Tiger Tank gets a good hit on the ice alongside the pack 40. Heavy damage here to Blatt's heavy tank. Needs to disengage. Oh, Tiger Tank bounces. Small bit of luck there for Blatt. Small bit of luck. The South here, T-Fit Fossil push back the gun at ears. Great hit there, Jurgen and Heinstead. Ice 2 being fixed up again. Tiger Tank remaining reserve here for PFC. And the South here got the T-Fit Fossil going for the Panzer Gun at either. West Mart's going off there. Didn't kill anyone, but might have left him a bit more than killed. There you go. Panther goes for flank on the T-34 from 6. Good move there by PFC. But there you go. Almost getting wiped in the Panther Gun DC here by the T-34 from 6. Setting off the S-Mines. Panther 4 narrowly misses. And the IS-2 is ready to move on in a few moments. Tiger tanking southwards. Not north, though. 
Bulat here has made a good read on PFC's tactical disposition. Actually made a great push there. Pushing back away from the Northern Victory Point, the Fuel Point as well. Forcing him back to defend around the Fuel Point, perhaps even. If not even the Cattle Point. Chuck them against the DC. Passing over the sub machine guns and other fun stuff. I streaming through the center here. We got zero kills. Pentafast off. They're damaging the engine here for large heavy tank. Good shot there. Titan going for there. Go field gun to the rescue here for the IS2. If it could see and shoot it, apparently it can't. That's a bit awkward there for Bullard. Always hit when that happens. And there you go, Pendle going for flank here. Bold rate there by PFC. Quickly disengages though. Nice hit from the Ice 2 on the Tiger Tank. Put down just one T for the course since he lost them with the Browning. T for the popping pursuit by the Panther 4. Oh, it's stuck. Bad pathing here. Some other awkward development there for Bullard. Panther 4 gains the Ace level Vetchy Free. That's really bad news for the T for the 4, 7, 6. And Bullard. His T for the 4 is cooked up. A brutal killing here by Bull, uh, by PFC's Panzer IV. And I was leave a lot with just the Ice 2 heavy tank, whereas his opponent has the armored car, which by the way is still alive with 22 kills. The Panzer IV and the Tiger tank. So that's going to be a bit of a difference between the two sides, the two commanders. And it's going to make things rather tough here for Bullock versus PFC. More shots being fired at the tag tank, but they're the missing or failing to penetrate in a lot of cases. 2-2 two -two sneak in there, and the field guns can't even hit back. They're pretty lucky there for PFC. Eyes 2 there. Almost good to go. Will he go for another one? Will he try and go for KV-8? Will he go for the HD-5 tank destroy here versus PFC? I'd say all are viable options for different uses, and will of course require the proper place to fully take advantage of. Pentel was the conscript, shoots, misses, of course at the east level, has a high rate of fire, so it doesn't matter too much if it misses. No, misses again, still the conscript are falling back to signing. They've had enough of that one. Eyes two mobilized once with Blatt and the Red Army. A motorized Stalin sledgehammer here. Coming straight for PFC's face. Pantherforming about Titan in Norfolk's here for PFC, six kills. Ice 2 continues his aggressive southern trek here. Clearly not worried about mines here from PFC, despite having showed several times he lays mines down. Fight for another victory point claimed here by Bullard for now. And the Red Army. And you got Ice 2 strikes, catches the pack 40 there with great hits on the 22 mm gun. Close to the veterans you want on that heavy tank. Looks like he's saving up for the issue to find the key fear versus the uh, PFC. Certainly sensible choices. Of Northeast Shock Troopers, they're being pushed out here. Great push there with PFC. Panzer 4 Aces by the backed up with the Panzer 4 Ace and Egg Lation. Five tanks there for Black to deal with the Tiger Tank and the Panzer 4 from Safe Difference, plus any other armor PFC could be inclined to get after this. I threw them combining the church shots, fire, but aren't quite connecting. Close to one pack 40 gets a great hit there. And Bullard is forced to pull back the eyes too. Mission to front halfway done there for Bullard and the Red Army. Panther gun is body going for a flank from the north. Good move there by PFC. Almost getting a wipe there. Troops advancing in the center. We got the HD5 almost done there for Bullard. Slip fire there from the 63 divisional field gun. Tiger tank post gets no send there you go. Pilat sends in the IS-2, gets a great hit there on the Tiger tank with the 122 mm gun of the IS-2. Hack shot there bounces. Tiger tank does not. Hand of Old North here with 28 kills. Going straight here for a few bunch up units in the south, but they quickly spread out. They've got response for PFC, avoids a potential little double wipe there. If you got really unlucky. Up here we got the Asian Farmers, the Panther 4 Ace. Great hit there from the Asian Farm and it's 85 in the gun. Continuing the pursuit of the Panther 4. Pretty risky there, but Bullard. A good flank they could destroy him, but he's clearly not worried about that. Panther 4 down to half health. 
Almost got it. Main gun now. And the charge goes down as high close shield flies right through it and sets it off. That's the second machine gun. The PFC's lost a building collapsing on top of it. That is a bit unfortunate for him. Great though for Bullard. And so it's going to help him again. Versus PFC. Asian farming head. The R2 moving out as well. Panther 4 is un. Well. Useful in non useful in the fight here. I assume it's the Tiger Tank. Great hits on both each other. Need to get these farm spot, but there you go. Pack force point to a problem. Got the shock to being dispatched to deal with it. Another Panther squad here for PFC to place to, to get another squad out there versus a opponent. I think that's a very good idea there. Put them at four and three squads, which I think is a base solid number to have. Shock to see it. I mean, grenade tight tank push back here after a hit here from the field guns. HD5 pull back for repairs. Taking his unit preservation seriously now. Good work there by Bullock. Very nice to see. Now the Panzer Squad, they're almost done. For PFC and the German army. Tiger tank is a pummel away there. And there, the double field guns on the Tiger tank. Could take out PFC's Tiger tank here. Oh dear, that's going to happen next. Oh, he may just get lucky there. No. Tiger tank went down there, definitely lost them for PFC. The 168 versus 167. Bullard is actually getting good control of the victory points here versus PFC. We could actually see Bullard winning on this, particularly with the loss of the Tiger tank, which is going to blunt a lot, I think, of PFC's offensive edge. We got the heavy Panzer Corp. Is it going to go for Sturm Panzer or Panther? We could, of course, also go for the Panzer Corp, but I feel like he and Morse would just be better. So we'll have to see what it goes for. To do racing in. Panzer 4 is still being repaired here. By PFC's pioneers, we got 145, 167. Yeah, nothing happening around the center. It's a bit here to the west. There's a bit of engagement there. And these punches versus the conscripts. I hope they may like push into the center, but decided they weren't. So he's not in any appreciably fast manner. Twisting up there. In the south, the IS-2 engaging alone in from sport there, which on its own is quite helpless before the IS-2 heavy tank. The only Recourse here is basically to retreat or hope for tanks to arrive. The South here, 2 gun is just thinking pushing them back. We got 122 from 67. Luck is definitely doing anything can to increase the lead here between him and PFC and win off that. That's just as a possible win condition. Panzer pushing back the troops in the center. Mission Farm hanging back here up north. Small push here is being encountered here by PFC's Panther 4. Great hits there. And I think PFC's are setting up for Panther here, another Tiger tank. Panther 4 down to half health. Need to be careful about that. In the center here, we got Harry Fine with the RS2. Oh, taking heavy damage from the pack 4. So the Tiger weak point could be quite crucial there. Good work by PFC. Ace pack 4 there. Push back the H5 tanks as well there. This is not quite going the way Bullock would have hoped. PFC, the meanwhile, is close to the Tiger tank number two. Advancing on the center of the conscripts. The infantry screen is gone, and there's no machine guns. Up north, infantry is counterattacked, but it's already depleted here versus PFC's force. Or, but, well, that's force, it's not PFC's. So, yeah, it's starting to look like he's going for second Tiger tank. He just needs the cooldown to wear off, and he'll call it in. There's a bit more to go than that. We'll have to see how Bullat responds to that one. Will it be more HD fives? Will it be a KV-8? Will it be more field guns? Will it be T-34s? Ground the Northern Victor Point. We've got 94 versus 160 cents. Line to look pretty tight here for PFC. If he doesn't get careful. And gets his in order soon. Five kills in the ice. Two half 822 there. Bit quiet there. Bit of light skirmish into the concert. Pushing head here. But beyond that, no major engagements. No major engagements. We've got 83 versus 167. PFC... Continues to lag behind here. Bullock in the victory point race. Down to 79. And there you go. Second target tank. Double hit for PFC. And the Groß Deutschland Panzer gonna be a division. Send in from nearby. 100 seconds. Schwerer Panzer Abteilung. Which is a fun fact, which I would say also the only type of, I believe, the independent sort of attachment units could be found in the Waffen. It says they only had heavy tank battalions like that. They didn't have some heavy tank destroyer battalions, or even tank destroyer battalions, I believe. So, little fun fact there. Titan Material straight hit from the HD5 on it. Field gun shoots misses. We got 69 versus 167. 68, moving from north of the Panther 4 there. 
Noting no mines, but like I done nothing to come against the northern flank here from PFC. Bit of an oversight, possibly. Panther Force acting as nice. Baking on the ice, who's launching counterattack here through PFC center. Almost takes out the pack 40 crew there. Close phase two, but there goes Tiger Tank. Lands a great hit. One wants to start the pack 40 up from the north. Almost taking out here, but lads, tight eyes to every tank. It's under a slip of health. Tiny slip of health. It's going to need to get all of his knees on it, possibly even more of them. T70 is. Oh, two, two, two racing in here. Going straight for the. Is he going to try and take out the eyes too for the 2 to 2? Okay, looks like he isn't. Eyes to Ace Falcon and Flank in there. Go taking up the Ace Panther for the Tiger Tank combo. But whose light center is falling apart. PFC's down to 59, 58 points, but he's delivering a hell of a pummeling here to Balat. Whose forces are now completely being torn to stretch out and open. Pack 40 cleared out. There's still the Ace. We've still got the Tiger Tank ahead here. Panther 4 Ace. We're going to need support. Clears out the field gun. The Ice 2 is in. Bad need of repairs this getting but it's also off close the front line there you go Tiger Tank shoots misses the eyes too and the engineers somehow Eyes to this takes another hit bounces another one, but it's barely up now We got the field with shooting on the uh, Tiger Tank which just continues to push ahead here Veggie to gain the eyes too, but that's gonna help it against the Tiger Tank at that range field returns about he tried to get the front against the uh, Tiger Tank It didn't work out A staggering blow that's blood will he try and slow up for another eyes too? I feel like that could be a mistake Nice hit there from the field gun on PFC's Tiger Tank, but at this point it may not be enough. We got all victory points now, other than the control of PFC are being seized with Bullard having nothing in the nearby range to actually capture it. Tiger Tank in the six kills, that's 71. 43 was on the 67, Tiger Tank shoots, misses. 43 was on the 65, season on the victory points, season center one. Up north there, bit of maneuvering here with the Panther 4 being fixed up. 37 kills. A real hero of the fatherland, Knight's Cross. First, just regular one day. No ugly diamonds or swords. Got the field gun there trying to be destroyed, but there you go, crewing it. Good way for a lad. It does look like it's trying to somehow stall up for another IS2, despite I would say the precariousness of the situation for him. Nice hit in the Tiger Tank. Goes for another Panther 4. I would say a Panther could have been an acceptable choice in Ospin versus Bullard supporting weapons, but another Panther at this stage isn't bad either when he already has an ace. And the Tiger Tank. Southern Point being seized. We've got 43. It's under 39. Pioneers had to work here with the Tiger Tank. Grabbing the Pack 40 to turn against these. And Burgess with it. Nice work. And of course, with the Sandman squad, you can just immediately do that and put it up to full squad. But there you go. To retreat the con squad there. Pack 40 being cleared out. Unfortunately, here. But that might have slightly gone too far deep into it. And extend it. There we go. Pack me white, that's just six consoles that didn't, didn't do much. Pantherform was down, troops can't attack him. We got engineer score, we got incendiary to down. He destroys the pack 40, denying at least that to PFC again. PFC's troops being enveloped in a sea of fire and incendiary wonderland, but in the end, it doesn't really matter. They're to retreat. In fact, they may not make it back home for Borscht. Contra Mahedi Field is backing up. There you go. Gunnish Vogue and Don't Those in State Line. He's survived. Ice 2 is still over half a minute away here. He's down to like 101. That's the, his opponent there with Tiger Tanks, Panzer Fours. Panzer Fours pushing Hedy back up. But what limited support there's left here for PFC, though it's still more than Bullard. And there you go with this. Bullard surrenders. Loss here for the Red Army. Victory for the German Army. A tense fight here. PFC, I feel I like could have used his resources more efficient at times. There was definitely some heavy floating there, which was. Less than ideal, but otherwise, I'd say good play there by PUC. Some good maneuvers by Bullat, but in the end, Bullat, I feel like, struggled a bit with sort of maintaining good uh, control there. The match went on. Probably should have been more careful. The R2 should also have more support for it. And I feel like some more should have been a great addition for Bullat or some Maxims. Like, I feel like in this case, relied too much on the uh, field gun to do all the work there. But either way, I hope you enjoyed this match. I've learned something from it. If you did, subscribe, like, share, comment on it, tell friends, tell a family, but don't tell enemies. This is Imperial Links and Cheers. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow again for another another exciting episode. Bye.